Welcome back, everybody. Good afternoon, and welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. I hope all is well with you guys. Thanks for joining me again. Thank you for all of the loves, and thank you for being a subscriber to my channel. I truly appreciate you all. Okay, so um, I have some messages here, and Divine is saying something about the love spells. All right, all of the love spells that's being sent and, you know, all of these love spells that people are trying to send out here. So it's being reversed. And the person that's doing the love spell is now love sick on someone. And the person that the love spell is being done on don't give a fuck. So it's being by it being returned to the sender. Someone's love spell has made them love sick and you just don't give a fuck. So they need to stop the love spells here. <laughs> you know, it's just making them more sick. Somebody's crushing on you so hard because they've been doing so many love spells on you. And you're not feeling it because it's being reversed. And now they just stuck on loving you and you just don't give a fuck. So that's how reversals of love spells are starting to take place here. So whoever's sending out this love spell to a masculine energy, you're the one who loves sick on this person and they don't give a fuck. Who's ever masculine sending out love spells on a divine film to get them back? The divine film don't give a fuck. And now this masculine is stuck in love with that divine film. Okay? So pick the role. What applies to you? Okay? Is what I'm seeing. Now, I got some energy here. And it's a death of a situation. Look at this. I got two different decks and both of them is a death card. The death card. Okay, and to clarify this death card energy is this could be a physical death of a soulmate. Okay, or this could be a physical death of a third party situation or shit that don't, you know, is not beneficial in your life. Divine had to cleanse some stuff out. Okay, completely. All right. And that's why the death card is here again. And this is something has ended. This marks the end. And there's a new beginning in a situation or a relationship. But there is no risk resuscitating, all right, the issue or this connection. There is a complete transformation. So device said, don't even try to res resuscitate this connection. Resuscitating is trying to bring it back to life. And divine said, you can't do that because it's not going to work. It's a complete end, 1010 of a cycle, all right? It's, the, it's over. All right, because somebody has a lot of karma to face right now. The energy, look at that, that you put out there, it comes right back to you. They made their bed, and now somebody got to lie in the shit that they made. Somebody got to deal with the consequences of their actions. And Divine said, now it is time to pay the piper. Okay, it's time to pay the piper here. Okay, so that's why you cannot resuscitate this dead end connection anymore. Okay, because somebody's facing heavy karma for everything that they have done to you. Okay, mm. so I just want to tell you guys a story. Okay, you know, it's about the sky eagles. I feel so blessed every time I get out and I drive. I see all these amazing sky eagles. Okay, and you know, I seen them yesterday. I was just driving down here to Walmart and I seen the sky eagles everywhere. It's like three of them. And I was looking, I was like, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for my protection. I said, you're amazing. You make me feel amazing. And all the stuff I was saying, you know, and I feel like one of them just like flew right low past my car. Like they understood I was talking to them. It was amazing. You know, I looked up and I seen this just flying right over me. I felt so protected and I felt my divine connection was so awesome. You know, I feel like I just wanted to stop, pull over and see if I can get a hug. Okay. But I was feeling that energy. Okay. And, you know, I was just telling divine how amazing they make me feel, how blessed I feel. Just showing them so much gratitude, you know, for just keeping me in a positive state. You know, after what they say, crucifixion, okay? And things are still being done. But because I'm so protected and I am so divinely guided out of situations and I'm using my intuition, you know, I feel so safe because I feel I get up every day. I spend my time with divine and I get up every day and get messages from divine, you know, and that's your connection to let you know and let me know what type of day I'm going to have. But you know how I know divine heard me. And speaks back to me because when I got to Walmart, the song that was on, Bruno Mars, you're amazing just the way you are. 
You know, divine think you're beautiful, you're amazing, your eyes, your hair, everything that you got going on about you is amazing. And that's the song I heard. You're amazing. Okay? Because I was telling divine how amazing they were. And that was my confirmation and my synchronicity that Divine felt the same about me. And that's all I need. I don't care who else feels some kind of way about me. Because I don't, you know, thrive on, oh, somebody hate me. I don't give a fuck about shit like that. I don't spill out, I don't spill out hate. So I don't care if, you know, I don't even feel it back. I don't even receive it back. Okay? So if that's how someone feels, then I could care less. Okay? So... And also the message that divine want you collective to know that you're fucking amazing. All right. That you guys are strong. This is a song from the divine to the collective, to all their Christians, to all the people that love and support divine. Divine think you are amazing just the way you are. Okay. And I just wanted to share that because they wanted me to tell everybody that you are amazing. Okay, amazing. No matter what you've been through, okay, no matter what people have done to you, no matter how people see you, all right, no matter what you think you're not, divine think you are amazing. Okay, love you guys. So let's get off into this energy because I have to let you know in depth how amazing you are because I let you guys know in depth about the bullshit, right? Okay, so we got the death card right here. This could be a death of a soulmate who kept utilizing all of the options here. I got water sign energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could have been some type of fight here. I got the king of swords, all right? Or the king of swords is bringing some truth about a death, all right? Or about a situation. Some justice is here, okay? The hair font is here. Divine stepped in and created a tower moment, all right? Archangel Michael had to come down here and clean out some shit. Okay, somebody doing heavy evil eye magic spells on people. It's a lot of secrets going on that people think that divine don't know. The moon energy is here. Okay, divine brought down a tower moment right here to balance out a situation. To balance out a situation right here because shit was just too fucked up here. All right, on a high priestess energy here. All right, so this is the hair fight and a high priestess working together. Okay, to fix some situations here. To cause tower moments to change some shit right here. All right? Somebody's name could be a B or a J. They could start with a B or a J here. And some shit had to be balanced out in somebody's life. And Divine's also about to balance out some pinnacles. Eight of pinnacles. This is some hard worker energy. And Divine is about to balance out some energy here. Okay? Everybody's been working hard. Somebody could be working hard on their finances. But they kept having problems with that. So Divine is bringing a death to any financial holdups any backups, any situations, okay, that was causing a burden to one's life, divine caused a tower to bring that financial status back to fruition, okay? Mm. I like that energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's the death card here, all right? I don't know why I keep hearing this could have been a death of a pretty person, all right? A pretty person. I'm going to leave it there. Or somebody who had thought that they was better than everybody else this type of energy here somebody thought that they would not accept no for an answer to any situations here but divine said it's over and also somebody who tried to impede a death upon you it's over okay holy spirit what are the messages that you want us to know they said you're going through a spiritual warfare but it's over it's a death to it and that's why you're about to see a victory it's a lot of spiritual cleansings that need to take place. We need to ground ourselves now because a lot of truths are coming out. And because truths are coming out, people want to attack this energy, okay, that you're bringing about, okay? So I'm listening to some great, uh, you know, some shaman, <laughs> you know, healing, warding off evil energies, music, okay? Holy Spirit, what are the messages here that we need to know? Yes, this is a big change, okay? There's a big change that's coming forward after the death of a situation that we are not resuscitating, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for my confirmation, okay? And this big change is due to things have gotten spiraled out of control, all right? You have no choice 
but to let things go, all right, and do things differently, to save yourself from whatever somebody did here, all right? Things have gotten spiraled way out of control, and divine's giving somebody a chance to redeem themselves because you have no other choice. There's no other choices here, okay? And this experience has taught you many things, okay? You learned a lot of different things here from this experience that brought big change in your life. Okay, yes, and this is magic. So people, whoever did some heavy magic on you, all right, trying to take influence over you, control over you, to get their way in regards to you, it's a death to this situation. It's a death to this, all right? I don't know if it's a twin energy here, okay? But it's a death to this situation. Somebody could have had some type of Asian culture or Asian background. All right. And somebody here is African-American. All right. So I don't know if that means anything. All right. But divine is saying it's a big change here. And whoever was doing this magic, whatever type of spell they put out here, things are about to change. And somebody has no choice but now to face the consequences of that change. And I don't know if that change could have been a possible death. Okay. It could have been a possible death. And that closed out a cycle for you to move forward completely. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is this energy? Yes, somebody was teaming up. So it could have been multiple people teaming up here to do this um, spell work on you. All right, trying to hold you back. All right, it was more parties involved and it was cre creating some type of toxic, toxic as unity to come up against you. To create an, involve, an environment where you couldn't grow. It was no unity. It was no love. And nobody respected nobody. But now Divine said, you guys going to wake up and you're going to do what's best for everybody involved because now you have no choice. Okay? You have no choice. It's a death to this situation. There's nothing else that you can do here. Okay? So somebody's taking an assessment. All right? Somebody's taking a step back to look at the things that they was done. Somebody is no longer like teaming up with somebody to work against you here. All right. Somebody is weighing out the pros and cons of a situation and they realize they're not going nowhere. All this control, all this shit right here is not working. All this ma manipulation, trying to micromanage somebody, trying to watch you everywhere you go, everything you do, monitor your computers, your phones, your emails, just everything. Divine said this shit is over. All right. Somebody's tired of this. Divine is tired of this. You guys are tired of this. But this is how somebody tried to control your fucking life. And Divine said, this ain't taking place like this no more. Okay? And Divine is willing to put a death or an ending to whoever continues on this path. Okay? Any way Divine see fit. All right? And don't come here talking about, oh, Divine kill people. I don't want to hear that bullshit. All right? Divine don't kill people. People kill themselves doing bullshit to others, okay? It's the decisions that you make, okay, that get your ass caught up, okay? So somebody might contact you. You might receive an unexpected message, okay? And somebody's trying to reach out to you. But Divine said, it's time for you to move forward. Whatever this decision is or whatever this message is, it's still time for you to move forward, okay? Yeah, because this person or this message or whoever's calling you, they still stuck in dark night of the soul. They still stuck here with this energy, okay? And yes, this person is still stuck in trickster energy, and they could also be working with someone else to do this for you. Somebody's trying to put on a good show, but that's all it is. This is the great pretender here. Somebody's still trying to keep you caught in fuck shit, okay? Okay? Yeah, somebody's worried about a lot of this energy that they put out here, though. Somebody's concerned about the dark night of soul energy they put out. And somebody's also concerned about the trickster energy that they put out here. Okay? Yes, this is wounded. Somebody's very wounded into the in regards to the shit that they did. This is somebody who has never, you know, resolved any childhood wounds issue. So they grew up still doing the same fuck shit. That maybe they seen other people do. They grew up with. Maybe this is something that they always did to people. Alright. Yes. Because they're unstable. Somebody's unstable mentally. Alright. There's unstable here. And now divine is making adjustments. To your life. To these connections. To these peoples. 
Things are changing here, okay? Yeah, because all they did was put burdens on your back, burdens on you to slow you down from doing your work, you know, making you insecure, causing procrastination to your life, okay? Yeah, this person was a wolf in sheep's clothing right here. This is what you need to know. And they was working against you, working with teams of people to fuck you over. And Divine said, this has come to an end. Okay? Yes. This is a scent maker. So you could be, um, you know, smelling some type of scent. All right? But this is actively working to, somebody was actively working to fool you. Just working to fool you. All right? And they're going to keep you in an open relationship type of energy. This is somebody who is in an open relationship and whoever they would don't mind getting cheated on. Don't mind third parties. Okay. That's not a healthy relationship, but it's mutually agreed. This is what they agreed to. All right. But it's being an adjustment here. Somebody also feels bad that they put you in an open relationship. Somebody tried to force you into an open relationship. Somebody tried to make you feel like it was okay for them to see other people and do their thing. But as soon as you started to see other people, it was pissed energy. All right? Somebody was warding off newcomers. Somebody was doing hell of a love spells on you. Okay? And now they feel very guilty about how they treated you. All right? They're feeling very guilty about what they did to you. All right? And this is Roots. You got down to the bottom of the damn issue. You found out exactly what was going on here. You could have been asking this person questions, but you never got a real answer from them. You could have started feeling some kind of way. You didn't even know that you was a third party or in an open relationship because they hid this from you. All right? They hid it from you, but you knew something was going on here. Okay, you knew it. And now because you dug down to the root of the problem and you started asking questions, this person right here, you know, they started getting mad. All right, aggression. Because you was questioning who they are, what they doing. Okay, you was questioning the shit that they was connected to, the people that they was connected to. You know, so they started like getting upset and found a way that they don't have to answer you, you know, by getting upset. This person could have got upset and left just because you was questioning them, wanting to know what was going on with your life. Okay? This person is never satisfied in relationships. This is somebody who keeps holding back because they're always out there looking for something else. Okay? Looking for something else. This person don't want to work things out and have a staple, you know, give and take balanced relationship. Somebody always felt like they can go get something better. But regardless of whatever you get better, unless you're just looking for temporary love, you're going to have to build something with someone eventually. Okay? And this is, yeah. And they want to keep you locked away. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody want to hold on to you. Put you in an open relationship energy. And keep you locked away. You wasn't allowed to date other people. You wasn't allowed to pursue your life. Only they could. Okay? And Divine said that shit is over. Alright? It's a death to that bullshit. It's about to be big changes here. Somebody don't get to do this to you anymore. Okay? And this is now you're getting real offers of love. You found out who you want. Okay? And now you found out who you are. Excuse me. And now somebody want to come and offer you some real love because they know you ain't tolerating this bullshit no more. All right? And you want to be exclusive. You want to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship. And this is just me and you. And it ain't no third parties. It ain't no open relationships. It's time for you to be a man or a woman. Tell the fucking truth about what it is. You know, don't be lying. Answer the fucking questions that somebody's asking you. All right? Stop bullshitting people. Call people back. Okay? This is a mature relationship. Text people back. Stop bullshitting with people. Stop hiding your phone. Stop hiding your text messages. Deal with situations like a man or a woman. If this is not the relationship that you want, then it's time to shut that shit down and move on with your life and don't allow somebody to keep making you broken ass promises that they have no intentions on fulfilling. Okay? Point blank. No intentions. All right? So you already know the mind games and that's what Divine is saying right here. You already know. Okay? Holy Spirit. So you guys are due for victory. All right? You're a lucky star energy right here. Okay? A lucky star energy. And guess who? Why? Because your ancestors is going to make sure of that. All right? They clear, they cleansing away everything in your life that does not um, be beneficial for you. 
All right? They cleansing away any pain, any trauma, any limited beliefs that you had about yourself due to other people. And you are healing your ancestral line and your future. You're a lucky star. All right? Good things are coming to you effortlessly. And you're more likely to have good luck in life moving forward because you have closed out a cycle. Yes, Holy Spirit, for your ancestors. You cleansed up the whole bloodline that was toxic. All right? That was cursed. You are mystical. All right? You have um, experiences allowing you magic to create in life. This is a true self-being is now emerging. Phoenix rising energy. Centaurus experiences okay and this is you're a hard worker you have really worked hard to have this victory to be a lucky star you really work hard on this breakthrough and you had the help of your ancestors behind you all right you know that ancestor i keep telling you i seeing i'm seeing this is hell of an energy because they're helping you get a breakthrough they're not letting you stay stuck in anything else that don't serve you only you get true love this is all that your ancestors and divine is allowing in your life is true love, not any toxic karmic bonds for you to be stuck to. Okay? They're not allowing that anymore. Okay? Look at this. You're a level 10 consciousness. You know exactly what's going on right here, and you live on your own spiritual reality. You are fused with the collective, and you are able to channel divine power now. All right? Because you cleansed away toxic cycles that don't serve you. So it's like you had to go through this to learn before you can actually call in something that's true. Okay. So this is a polinium. I could be pronouncing this word wrong. Okay. You understand the polarity. You understand balances, how to help the human race evolve. And you're a challenger of the social norms. So you don't believe in staying in relationships that's unhealthy just because you have a child with somebody. You don't believe in staying in relationships just because it's convenient for both of you guys financially. You don't believe in just being with somebody because you love them and you've been with them for 20 years. You don't believe in that anymore. And Divine wants you to shut that shit down, okay? Because that's not true love. And that builds back on toxicity. Okay, a level one consciousness, you identify with the physical realm, you absorb the values of society, material success, and status defines you. You're no longer in this energy. This one, you was at a level one. You was always worried about what everybody cared about, you know, what people, how people saw you on the outside. You're no longer in this energy anymore, okay? Look at you, you at level nine and 10 right here, all right? You transforming the way people see you. You transforming the people you meet, all right? You're able to lead others and you have a strong influence on others with your conversations, your positivity, with your wisdom, okay? You have a teacher type of energy here, okay? And they want you to teach people that you conversate with whether it's younger people, kids, whatever, you're supposed to teach them the right way. Give them the encouragement to do the right things in life instead of being stuck doing the wrong things in life, okay? This is you collaborating leads to higher levels, all right? Learning to appreciate others' viewpoints. You're very successful in your collaboration with others. You're very successful in the words and the wisdom that you teach to others, okay? And this is right here. Somebody resisted all of this. Somebody refused to change here. And if you look at this card right here, don't this person and this person looks the fucking same damn near. Okay? And it's a death to this. Whoever this is resisted, all right, divine, resisted their ancestors. All right? Now they're feeling lost and empty and alone. They want their own life back, fearing your transformation. So somebody right here, they, was, they, they feared transformation. So they want to stay stuck in this in evil energy, doing this candle magic, okay? They just want to stay stuck here, and that's why Divine stepped in and caused a tower moment, okay? This energy is no longer in effect, okay? And now you can move on. Whether you choose to move on single, solitude, all right, will be your greatest alley. Sometimes you got to step back and do some reflecting and soul searching, this is you living a meaningful life as a loner. Some of us choose to go ahead and be alone. And if and when somebody worthwhile come in our life, then we'll open our heart up. 
but some of us are actually happy being alone. I resonate with this, okay? And this is the road to success. It might be lonely to you, but this is where you unleash your creative side, all right? I'd rather be alone than have somebody that I can't trust in my back, you know, behind my back. As soon as my back is turned, as soon as it's not there, you know, you got some bullshit going on, all right? I'd rather have the peace of mind that you have a victory in right now. Okay, until you can find someone that's on the same page with you, even without looking, you know, you don't know what divine might send your way. But when you're strong and confident, we're going ahead and being a lone wolf. Look at that big old wolf behind you, backing you up. You're not alone. You got all these people behind you. All right. Helping you stand in your power. You're being guided. And divine said, if you want to be alone, then we're still going to protect you. Okay. We at a point to where we don't trust a fucking soul right now, okay? With nothing, all right? This is a mature soul. You embracing others. You have learned a lot of lessons. You have had a lot of epiphanies. You're very aware of yourself, all right? You're looking at things with a new introspective. You're very inquisitive, and you're very sensitive, all right, to who you are and what you want, and you're no longer falling for illusions, okay? I love this energy. You're no longer falling for it right here, all right? You got an old soul energy here. You search for balance and completion. Look at you seeking answers through tarot, all right? This is esoteric feels, you know, being mystical here, searching for truth and answers. And this is the beginning of your spiritual search. So some of you guys are just now getting on the plane of your spiritual guidance, okay? Because... You came out of this criminal, criminal minded energy. This could have been some energy that somebody was, you know, dealing with. You could have been dealing with this. All right. Whoever this criminal minded energy is, this could be a female. They could be facing prison, jail time. They had a lot of illegal activities going on here. All right. You might be someone who helped somebody change this image, change this about themselves. All right. You was tested, tested to conquer people's demons you was being tested all right but who knows you might have changed someone's criminal minded energy mm -hmm. blessings and kudos to you okay and i hope we do you know who knows somebody might end up going to the jail to do speeches on people to help them change their life people who are about to get back out of jail who knows what god is calling you for you might give people you know, direction. You might give people hope, you know, after coming out of a criminal-minded mentality, okay? Holy Spirit, because somebody definitely raged spiritual warfare on this collective, on you, your life, your family, all right? Doing all kind of curses, all kind of hexes and everything to stop you. Yes, you are bringing karmic justice, all right? You are bringing karmic justice to situations. This is karmic justice even to a justice system. Fake, false judges, lawyers, attorneys. You are bringing karmic justice here. And that's what Divine is saying here. Everything being put in its rightful place. Balance. Being vindicated from anybody who tried to bring injustices to you. Okay? For any wrongs that's been sent against you. All right? Everyone reaps what they sow. You are a warrior. It's like you are a crime fighter. Okay? Is what Divine is saying. You are a karmic justice cycle. I didn't say you are, excuse me, but there's a karmic justice cycle that's closing out and it was all brought on by the spiritual warfare. All these injustices that was done to you. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We need that energy, don't we? We need that energy. All right. Yes. It's a breakthrough going on here. All right. All these obstacles and curses and strongholds. No longer being trapped or affected by the ways, all right, that was holding you back. You're no longer being affected by all the stuff that was holding you back. This is beautiful energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, yes, I told you all this spell work, all this evil eye that was being done to you, all right? Karmic justice is here. This, look at this. Karmic justice is going on with this witch and this warlock right here. These practitioners, all of them are facing karmic justice here. All of this karmic bullshit they did to your life, they are facing justice. 
Okay? And I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody because I get loud. I'm so sick of people like, you loud, you're angry. Come on now. I'm just real. I'm flowing with the fucking energy here. And we are happy that we are receiving justice for all these injustices that we have experienced. Okay? And that's my level of excitement. That's my energy going up because I am tired of being fucked over. I'm tired of doing these shitty ass readings about how people stole from us, hurt us, plan to kill us. It's nice to get to uh, get a reading that we are finally facing justice. We are finally receiving justice. And I am excited about that. And my energy might goes up because I'm happy about that. Okay? This has been a struggle. You guys know for me as well as a lot of us. Look at the comment section. Okay? Look at that. A lot of us have been facing a lot of this shit. Okay? Look at this. We have a window. A new opportunity. It's a new portal. A new passage here. Okay? And now these people are going to be forced to ascend. Alright? You have ascended beyond these competitors. These enemies. These dynamic forces. These obstacles. who That made it hard for your life. To keep you stuck. Unmotivated. Not knowing. You have ascended past this. Alright? And all these people are about to face their justice. Okay, they're facing justice here. All right, what's these energies? Yes, all these people that's been doing all this moon work, magic work under the new moon phases here. These baby witches right here that's been trying to take your spiritual gifts. Okay, all of these enemies here that's been fucking with you. Guess what? Karmic justice because your spiritual team is here. All right, they taking control of this along with your ancestors. This is no longer allowed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. Thank you. Look at that. Because you are highly protected from this energy. Highly protected. This is an awesome reading because I'm so tired of that negative shit we've been getting right here. All right. And Divine wants you to know they love you. They love you. Okay. You are also protected from lovers and people that claim they love you with bad intentions. Okay, Holy Spirit. Give us that shit. All right. Yes. You got a lot of ancient knowledge. You know exactly what the fuck is going on. A lot of this shit was in a past life. The same cycles. The same shit. But this time, you defeated that. This time was a different time. Your ancestors stepped in here. They guided you to this karmic justice. Woo. Go ahead, girl. Preach that shit. All right? Go ahead. Yes. Somebody tried to make you a possession. Tried to own you. Dematize you. Make you into some type of sexual slave entity. That shit is over. Okay? Holy Spirit, what's these messages? Yeah. Trying to visit you in your sleep. Keeping you up at night. Doing witchcraft on you in your sleep. Messing with your crown chakra, trying to erase your gifts, your connection with your ancestors, your connection with spirit. All right. Yes. You're a cosmic origin now. And you have outwardly you um you, a comic origin. Okay. And you have otherworldly origins. You're a star seed, indigo children, chosen ones, light workers, incarnating to help the collective evolve. And this is what's happening now. All right. You were sent to help this collective evolve from all of this injustices that this collective received. Even all of the beautiful tarot readers that's getting hacked. All right. That have thousands, hundred thousands of subscribers and they don't have any views. That's karmic justice is coming for that. Okay. I hope you readers know I'm calling for karmic justice. Whoever on YouTube is hacking our accounts. I am calling for karmic justice. All right, karmic justice, and there will be a breakthrough, okay? Everybody's being attacked. Everybody want to attack readers because we are helping people see the truth in situations. And everybody want to attack us for that, which is an injustice, okay? And Divine said they're taking care of this, and we bring all this to the light, to the forefront, all right? Your spiritual ranking, all right, is not based on your age, but on your spiritual experience. Your position Within the spiritual reign, you got high ranking, bitch. Y'all got some high ranking in the spiritual realm. All right? Y'all can call in shit. You can call out shit. You can ask for divine justice in these situations. Know how to utilize your ranking, okay? Is what divine is saying, okay? I call on divine justice and divine to fix these karmic situations every day and every night. 
All right. Look at this hacker just trying to fuck with people to make us think we ain't going nowhere. But you are. You delivering divine messages here. All right. So we call on karmic justice here. And divine say we here. It happened all in divine timing. We are all divinely guided. All right. We are operating patiently. All right. They bring it all order to things of disrespect here. All right. And your experience, some of us is going to have an outer body experience here. All right. People who've been astral projecting onto us, trying to connect with the spiritual realm unlawfully. Okay. Unlawfully. All of that is over. These people are no longer able to hurt you, to do all of these banishment spells, all of these death spells, because someone could have got a wake up call that they're bringing their own death to themselves and their families, their own demise by continuing to do these karmic injustices to Christians, to good people and to God's collective. And this is what I have for you guys in this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.